Hubbard native Patrick Chauvin last year had his soccer dream come true when he became part owner of an Italian soccer team. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier spoke with him about his team that went from struggling to champions. Hubbard native Patrick Chauvin is a lifelong soccer fan and says the chance to join the ownership group of Italian football club Campo Basso FC was something he couldn't pass up. It really is something, it's, it's surreal and it's cool. Chauvin, who now lives in Hermitage, is Italian-American. He says he first fell in love with the sport the same year he connected with family in Italy for the first time. The World Cup was, um, was here in America and that actually bringing everything kind of full circle and what else makes us so cool is it's such a tie to my ancestry. Chauvin was looking at other investments when he hit it off with members of North Six Group, which purchased Campobasso FC last September. The club was basically being disbanded, which would have been just so detrimental to obviously not only just the football club, but for the, the town and the region of, of Campobasso and Melise. He tells me the group had just a week to put together a team and the club was at risk of not competing at all. But like a story straight out of a movie, the club went from disarray to winning its championship and was promoted to Serie D. Chauvin got to fly to Campobasso to see the final match. For us to win the league under those circumstances was just uh, really incredible. Chauvin says the city of Campobasso isn't so different from many in the valley. It's small and faces a lot of economic hardship. And that grit shines through in the team. They're hardworking. There's not a lot of... They don't get a lot of breaks, same as us here. So it's a gritty, you know, a gritty town, underdog town. Chauvin hopes the team continues moving up through the ranks and loves seeing local support. The club season begins in early September and their matches stream on YouTube on Sundays. The fact that it has local ownership, I mean, it. I hope it means a lot to the people of the Valley. For WKBN 27 First News, I'm Abigail Cloutier. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.